Hi, this is Regina Thomas, and I'd like to talk about Franz Lehár. He was born in Hungary, but he spent most of his time working in Vienna, Austria, writing beautiful operetta. Now, there's only a couple of operettas that we perform with any regularity in the United States, and he wrote one of them, The Merry Widow. The other one, Deflator Mouse, by Johann Strauss Jr. And like Johann Strauss Jr., Franz Lehár enjoyed incorporating waltz tunes into his work with regularity. He was also known for creating memorable melodies combined with beautiful harmonies and orchestration. So lush, gorgeous Viennese music. But before that, he started out studying a violin at the Prague Conservatory. Not by choice, actually. His father wanted him to have a steady income. And since his father was the director of the military band, violin was it. He could earn a steady living as a violinist, but not so much as a composer. So he started as a violinist, but while he was there, he received some encouragement from Antonin Dvorak regarding his compositional skills. So Lehar continued to study on his own and taught himself his compositional skills while he was studying violin. He then was called into military service. He played violin in the military band and then developed into an operetta composer and was incredibly successful writing about 30 operettas. So we have for you on our YouTube channel, three excerpts for on video. Uh, one is from The Merry Widow, probably the most famous tune um, that people have heard. The Villalit. Uh, the story is concerning this rich widow from this made up country. Um, her countrymen are trying to see if they can arrange a new marriage for her because they want to make sure the money that she has stays within the country. So they want her to marry someone uh, of their countrymen. So that's the basic story. The aria occurs in a party that she herself is throwing and she's telling this myth of the Vilja um, mountain maid kind of person who is so beautiful and entrancing that she lures and entices all the hunters who see her in the forest, unintentionally, of course. So the a second excerpt that we have is from a lesser known piece, Der Zverbich. And it's loosely based on a true story of the son of Peter the Great. Peter the Great says to his son, I want you to do your duty. And that is you become a monk or you go into military service. And the son says, no, I don't want to do either of those. And he runs off to the Holy Roman Empire and lives in exile with his Finnish mistress. So then they live in exile for a couple of years until the son finds out that the father has died and he dumps his mistress and goes back to do his duty. So again, this is like a bittersweet royal commoner parting kind of story at the end. So the aria that you're going to hear is called Einer wird kommen and will be sung by Katie Hawkman. It's he, someone will come. Someone will come who will love me and will value me and stay. Um, and this is sung by the Finnish mistress who's pining for him to come to her. So the, and then the third excerpt that we have is also a relatively famous aria and it's from Judita, which is towards the end of Lehar's career. And rather than being kind of the usual form of his operetta, it's on a grand scale. It's pretty much an opera, not just an operetta. It's a big grand thing. It's called Meine Lippen sie küssen so heiß. My lips, the, they give kisses so hot or fiery kisses. Um, and Judita is this young, beautiful woman who has married a much older man who just dotes on her, but she doesn't really love him. It's a safe Thing that she's done to marry him. Enter a young, handsome, exciting soldier. He sweeps her off her feet. She decides to run away with him and they go with his unit and live in North Africa 
and they're very, very happy for a while. But then again, the eunuch has to go and he has to do his duty and he decides he's going to leave her there. And so she goes, she stays and he goes and she's heartbroken. And so then she decides, well, I'll become a nightclub singer. So this scene is actually her singing in the nightclub. And the text is basically, I just don't know why that all the men find me so attractive and they look, gaze into my eyes and hold my hand and they can't resist me. So meine Lippen sie küssen so heiß, sung by Karen Early Evans. Eine wird kommen, sung by Katie Hockman. And the Vilja lead from The Merry Widow will be sung by Clarice Alfonso. And John Burkhart will be playing the piano on all of those. Please take a look at those on our YouTube channel. And I'd love to have you subscribe and like all or any of our videos and show your support. Thanks.